Lex Luthor, Dr. Evil, Voldemort, Jeff Bezos. What do all four of these people have in common? That's right, they're all hot. But one of these people is vastly different from the others, and that's Jeff Bezos. Because much like Pinocchio in that puppet movie I can't remember the name of, Jeff is a real boy. But despite being a real boy, Jeff Bezos has become one of the most cartoonishly villainous people to ever exist. Now, before we continue, I can already smell the wave of comments coming in from tech bros and rise and grind people. How dare you talk bad about Jeff Bezos? You're just jealous. Did you see that photo? Did you see that photo with the Amazon sign? He built it from nothing. You're just jealous. Calm down, okay? I am an idiot. I am a YouTuber and I am dumb, in that order. Because I'm not an expert, but there is something I consider myself an expert in, and that's talking about people who are being weird as hell. You could say it's kind of a big part of my job, and Jeff Bezos is so weird. He is trying to appear as a cartoon villain, and he's not even trying to hide it. So that's what we're talking about today. Before getting into it, uh, for people that don't know, Jeff Bezos is the founder of Amazon, and he's a big old rich boy. That's, I believe, his official title at the company, big old rich boy? Jeff Bezos title at Amazon. Huh. Um, I googled it and that's uh, that's wrong. I made it up. So I wanted to keep uh, a tally, a list of traits that an evil villain would have that Jeff Bezos also has. Now each trait does not have to be inherently evil. It just has to be something that seems like a villain in a TV show, movie, or comic book would have. And you'd be surprised there's a lot of them. Just hear me out, okay? Give me a chance. So the first trait on the list we're gonna start with today has been making the rounds a lot on Twitter. If you've never seen Jeff Bezos laugh and you think I'm being petty by starting with something like this, shut up. Shut your mouth and listen to his laugh. It will change your mind. Don't type a comment. Here's the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. A guy like you actually gets. I would love for it to be after I'm dead. <laughs> See? That is not just an evil laugh. That is the most evil laugh I've heard from a real person before. Imagine telling a joke at a party and getting that laugh as a reaction. Not only would I look around and be like, hey, I'm not a henchman in a, some kind of world-ending scheme happening right here. I'm just a regular guy. I would start getting worried that he had like a lever with a trap door under me. And he's just amused that I would tell a joke before he sinks me into an abyss and I fall into spikes. Now, some of you are probably thinking, Eddie, maybe it's just an awkward laugh. It's just the laugh that the guy has. You're being a little mean. Okay, well, let's see that laugh with a little bit of context. I want to introduce you to a clip of Jeff Bezos getting to try out high-tech gloves that let you control robot arms. Get those gloves off of him before he gets any ideas. You can just see that bullied middle schooler villain arc in his head going, I'll get them. I'll get them for laughing at me. If you leave those on him any longer, he'll be choking out Spider-Man by the end of the year. And you might be thinking, well, maybe he's just at a tech convention and he's amused by this cool technology. Well, what if I told you it's an Amazon convention? It's his convention. And while he doesn't own these gloves, I'm sure that people would be willing to sell them to Jeff Bezos. If I was such a rich, world-owning CEO, I'd be like, I can't let this clip get out. This is a little too much, right? But he doesn't care. He doesn't care how it comes off at all because that's how powerful he is. He just doesn't give a shit. And if you're also thinking, maybe I'm still being unfair. I found an article reporting on it. And this is what the article states. After the gloves came off, one of the spectators asked Bezos how it felt. Weirdly natural, he said. He's Doc Ock. 
He's Doc Ock and Lex Luthor and he's not even hiding it. I am so scared of this man. Please do not give him robot arms. He is recently divorced. I don't know what he'll do. Depending on what list you look at and when you're looking at it, Jeff Bezos hovers around the first, second, and third richest person in the world at all times. Now being that rich would already land you on an evil villain trait, but it's what Jeff does with his money that also lands him up there. Amazon is, you know, Amazon, but he also owns a space company and a newspaper. You cannot be that rich and bald and go to space and not seem like a cartoon villain. And it just adds to it that he owns a really prominent newspaper to write good things about being rich and bald and going to space. Once he makes his space lair, we're gonna be seeing Washington Post articles like, maybe a laser pointed at the earth could protect us from the bad guys? Maybe Jeff's a hero? He also recently had a yacht custom made because his other yacht wasn't good enough. And it really seems like he looked at the planners and said, give me a Bond villain boat. Look at this thing. When I was shopping around for yachts, I did consider having one built just for me. There's just something about cruising the seas in a boat that you had a hand in making yourself. And it speaks to your tastes in a way a ready-made yacht just can't. And so that's exactly what I did. And it seems Jeff Bezos felt the same way too. The Amazon founder just commissioned a 417 foot or 127 meter yacht. The yacht is 417 feet long, which if you stood up vertically, is a 38 story building. Let me say that again. It's a 38 story building. It doesn't get more Bond villain than a building yacht. Are you kidding me? For an insane $500 million. And it will undoubtedly be one of the most luxurious yachts the world has ever seen. The insane thing too about this yacht is that $500 million isn't even like a lot of money to him at all. And before the Bezos stands swoop in and go, Eddie, he doesn't actually have $171 billion. He can't spend that. He's worth that. So? So what? Can he build a robot army with his money if he wanted to? Yes, that's rich enough to go on the list as an evil villain trait. Project Y721 also includes a support boat with its own helipad since the main vessel cannot have one thanks to the masts. The helipad, it seems, is in addition purely for his girlfriend, Lauren Sanchez, who's also a helicopter pilot. And Bezos himself has been taking flying lessons. It was odd at the time because Bezos apparently loathed helicopters, but he probably decided to give it a try so he could fly with his girlfriend. That is probably the most rich divorce guy thing I've ever heard. Personally, I hate helicopters, but the new girlfriend loves them, so I had a helipad installed on the yacht. Got a license myself, too. Like, dude, that is the most rich divorce thing you could ever do. I feel like everybody knows, you know, about his wealth. But the next trait is probably the most damning of all of them. Bezos is bald. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, okay. I'm not hating on bald men. I love the bald kings out there. But look at Jeff, also bald, in the 1990s. I'm sure he was probably a jerk then too, but this looks like a pretty friendly guy. Look at him now. This is a different bald. This is a full Lex Luthor, Dr. Evil transformation. And with Jeffy B, it even comes down to the smaller things he does. I'll just even rattle off a couple right now. Did you know he ate an iguana? I didn't do Mad Libs when I was writing this thing. He ate an iguana. And you might be thinking, he's a, he's a traveling man. He's a cultured man. What if he was offered it and he didn't want to be rude? Well, why did he take this picture? <laughs> what is this picture? Jeff looks like a lizard who vowed to that iguana, I'm going to become a human and I'm going to fucking eat you. There's also weird stuff, like something weirded me out so much of Bezos being a Lizzo fan. And on top of that, he made this tweet. I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm 100%. And if it were the lyrics, it's that bitch. But he said 100% Lizzo's biggest fan. 
accompanied with this photo. I just don't understand how this man operates. It's just so weird. He's so weird. But a real recent obvious one that I mentioned earlier, Jeff went to space or, you know, just really high up. Some people are saying it's not exactly space. Uh, I'm gonna look it up and put it on screen whether it was space or not. I didn't research enough before I hit record. And Jeff, as the movie villain he is, decided he was gonna try and pull off a cowboy hat after going to space, which is upsetting to me because this was gonna be my new look. And then he goes to space and now it's the Bezos hat? This was gonna be the Burback hat. This was gonna be the new look. The Yikes shirt and the, and the Burback hat. Howdy, ma'am. Look how natural that comes to me with the mustache. Howdy, miss. Give me a whiskey, stat. You see how naturally that comes to me? I'm a natural born cowboy. They made that anime off of me, Cowboy Burback. <laughs> It's so stupid. But right after he got back from space, he did this in an interview. Does he have grander space ambitions than going to the edge of it? Did this moment motivate you to push deeper into the cosmos? Hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get how he can come back from space after funding it himself and do that laugh. And people are like, I trust that guy. I trust him 100%. Not even a little bit of a feeling where you're like, he reminds me of a couple of people I've seen in media before. <laughs> I just can't believe that whenever I see Jeff Bezos criticized, I see a bunch of people swoop in and try and defend him. And it's like, he's not even trying to hide to you that he has evil villain qualities. He doesn't care about you. He doesn't need you to defend him. So stop. And also it's an inherently bad thing to buy a $500 million yacht that's a 38 story building while your employees are pissing in bottles. That's just what a villain would do. And you know, I want a career in traditional entertainment. So if Jeff Bezos somehow finds this video, hey man, I was just kidding about all that stuff. You're so cool, Jeff. Um, I can't wait for you to rule the world. I was just, I was just joking, you know, Superman? That guy freaking sucks. I, you should kick his ass. I hope you kick his ass. I hope he doesn't win. Jeff, me, we go ba way back. Me and Jeffy B. You know I'm just kidding. You know I'm just joshing, dude. Please don't fucking kill me. All right, well, that's the video, guys. Uh, I don't have a $500 million yacht, but I want one. Uh, so it's sponsor time. Hi. It's me from the video from before. This episode is sponsored by Morning Brew. Everyone say thank you, Morning Brew. Guys, I usually spend my morning crying, eating dry Cheerios, crying so hard that my tears get into the dry Cheerios, which makes me cry even more. It's a whole disaster. But then I used Morning Brew. Morning Brew is a free email newsletter from Monday to Sunday. It gets you up to speed on business news in just five minutes. I looked at it today, uh, woke up and saw that uh, good old Fizey's getting approved. Let's go in the chat for that. I also learned how to ask my boss for a raise, so I will be having a very interesting conversation with myself in the mirror later. If you're interested in business, finance, or tech, there's no reason not to subscribe to Morning Brew. It's completely free and takes less than 15 seconds to subscribe. So click the link in the description below to subscribe to Morning Brew today. Thank you, Morning Brew, for sponsoring this. I appreciate it. Oh, I thought it was a... You know when you think someone's taking a picture? I know I'm recording, but I thought it was going to be a picture. Oh my god, it's not a picture again!